Welcome, this is Tim from graphicsediting.org and I'm going to show you how to get started using GIMP. This one is for beginners. Maybe you just downloaded GIMP and you just installed it but you're not really sure what to do next. And if you don't know how to download and install GIMP, I have a video on my YouTube channel for that too. So go ahead and check it out and then come back to this one. And make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the bell notification so you can make sure that you know whenever I release a new tutorial. So the question is, how do I start and create my first image in GIMP? So here's GIMP. This is Wilbur. Let's go ahead and double click and start up GIMP. So this is your basic... Um, like the cockpit of an airplane these are all your controls and we're ready to fly to Rio de Janeiro so <laughs> okay so um, what you wanted to start with is a template so go to file new like um, a lot of other programs you want to start with file new and this is where you run into your first like fork in the road like what do I do um, so what you're choosing here is how big your image is going to be width wise and height so this it all depends on what you're doing if you're making a meme for your twitter feed well you might want to make it like 600 by 600 pixels which you would just type it in tab 600 and then hit ok um, if you want to create a document for maybe you're writing a report or one page report and you want it on a copy paper you're going to print it up or you're making a flyer then you're going to want to go to inches and make it the standard size of a, a copy paper which is eight and a half wide by 11 high and then hit ok so go ahead and click on advanced options and you can change the comment to whatever you want. You can change it to your name. And for the background color, uh, you can start with white. That's a good uh, classic background canvas. Or you can do transparency. Uh, those are the most common two. And foreground and background are these colors right here. This is foreground, this is background. So you can change either one anytime you want to like say you want your foreground color to be like red you can do that you can change your background color to black you can hit okay and you can flip them around right here these are all your tools in your toolbox you've got your mover your selection tools like your basics like your rectangle and your ovals you've got your scissors and your some of your other uh, scissor select tool and free select um, you've got select by color this one's more common crop tool and your tools that will transform whatever you're working on uh, like rotations and flipping you know like a mirror image um, more transforms like warp and cage Here's your bucket fill and the gradient is in there too so if you click on this one and then click G you'll get your gradients so you can blend um, paintbrush which you've got your pencil your airbrush in there too ink um, you've got your eraser tool clone tool this one's pretty good for doing some you got your heel and your perspective clone and your traditional clone tool those are good for classic photoshopping techniques smudge which you've also got blur and dodge and the best way to learn about these is to just open up a picture in GIMP and just start messing with them and see what they do exactly there's no better explanation to just like see it and visualize it your path tool that's a an important tool because say you're trying to cut something out 
um, like say you want to you took a picture and you want to cut one person out so because you're gonna make up maybe you're gonna make an advertisement or a cover and they're gonna be like the center of it so you want to get a, a picture of them but kind of like cut the background out so you only want the person you can use this to trace around them and select them and then cut them out and then paste them so here's your text tool here's your color picker tool which is important say you want to grab a very specific color in an image you can click on that and click on anywhere on the image and it will give you the exact um, HTML code of that color and magnifying glass so you can zoom in and there's um, there's some things to know about the zoom tool if you want to use it effectively and I have a tutorial on how to use the zoom tool um, which is pretty popular a lot of people have found that useful so I would check that out we're gonna go ahead and go to 500 pixels by 500 pixels which is a very common size for like a logo or an avatar for maybe your Twitter um, your Twitter avatar your YouTube channel so and then we're gonna choose a white background to start with and hit OK and there we are now we're gonna grab the magnifying glass and click click and hold just outside the top left hold drag down to just outside the bottom right and then let go and now we can work within here so let's go ahead and change our color and we'll make like a gray hit OK grab our bucket fill tool by clicking on there and we'll click in here and let's change it to something a little bit more with a little bit of maroon there we go and basically you've got your your tabs right here so like tools tab let's go ahead and delete it just so I can show you what it looks like when you don't have what you need what you'll do is you'll go to click on that little arrow go to add tab and then here it is here's tool options so these two are your most important tabs so whenever you click on a tool like text if you go to the tool options you can change the different uh, settings for that tool so let's go ahead and click and hold and we'll call this like my well the color is the same so we're going to, have to change it so we can actually see it so we'll go like we'll choose white so we can have better contrast and we'll call this my first image in GIMP and drag the bottom of that down a little bit more and here's how to use the move tool just click on it and click anywhere on the color you want and that is the basics and then to save your project as a GIMP project you're gonna go to file save we'll just save this on the desktop and we'll type my first image and hit enter or click on save and you'll see now that it saved it right here so now we can actually close the entire GIMP project down double click it and we can at any time start where we left off and to save the image you're gonna want to go to file export like say you want to actually save the final image and you want it to be a GIF or a ping or a JPEG so what you'll do is all you have to do is just change the last three to .jpg and hit export I'm just showing you the basics we can go more into detail but I'm just this is for the beginner so you can get started and I don't want you immediately frustrated with your lost and cannot get past step one so this is like step one through ten real quick just so you can get going and then you can build your learning on that on top of that so for the quality go ahead and bring it up all the way to 100 percent but actually if you go down one to 99 percent quality it 
GIMP will, will start its um, compression, but yet the quality will still be very high. It'll like half the the file size really quickly, and you lose almost no quality. For the comment, you can make it whatever you want. And go ahead and hit export. And there we go, we have our first image. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. I'm Tim, and thanks for watching.